John sent me an email asking about these network components that you find in these radios sometimes and how to figure out what's in them. Well, most of the time what's in them are capacitors and resistors, uh, all kinds of combinations, but there could be coils in them too, but most of the time it's capacitors and or resistors or both. So I looked around for some examples that uh, varied in information and I'm going to start with uh, the one that has some of the least information and that's because it's early in these networks. And here you can see at the lower right uh, a unit called U1 and here's a closer look at it and you can see that uh, they say if it uh, is in this radio or if you have problems with the components you to replace it with this well we're gonna go in the other direction we're saying that we've got this and it's bad so looking at the diagram here uh, and bringing up the information for that unit if it's bad you really need to replace the entire unit on these so that star here is relaying that this component replaces those two capacitors and these two resistors so if this unit's bad I would just take it out and throw it away and rewire the radio with these four new components. The information on these units vary a great deal. Here's another example. It's also labeled U1, but you can see that it is two capacitors, dot zero 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 five microfarads and dot zero zero seven microfarads. And if we take a look at uh, the description, all it says is dual ceramic. I did replace this network, but before we get into what's in this unit, something I've been meaning to uh, mention for a while is uh, some ideas on what I use to uh, identify the components like this one. You can see that the numbers are very hard to read. Well, quite often I'll take a picture of whatever the component is and put that file into Photoshop and manipulate the contrast and colors to bring out the numbers. And that works quite well. Here's the wiring diagram that uses that network. And looking at the diagram, you don't see anything. But, uh, of course, if you looked in the radio, it's there. Well, the information was on the next page. And there's quite a lot of information. There's really no guesswork here as to what you need to replace this network. So the documentation is getting better as time went by uh, and uh, more of these networks were being used. Here's another example of a U1. It's all the way over to the left. Note the 
order of how the uh, wires count, but uh, looking close at the wiring diagram where it's used, uh, there's no confusion now as to what you need to put in that radio if you should need to replace this unit. Here is one more example. It's in the lower right by the volume control and the components are well marked and this one is labeled CR1 and on another page in this documentation it confirms what's in that capacitor and resistor network.